What is up guys, TechRax here. So in this video, we have a power strip with 10 outlets. And yes, you guys got it right. In this video, I'm gonna actually try to charge an iPhone with 10 of these bricks. I basically had to take each individual cable, slice it open, uh, take the different colors and solder them together into one thing. So I've got some electrical tape that I painted white and it's basically one jumbo mega cable that I'm going to try and connect with a regular iPhone. So I have an iPhone XR that I'm going to be trying to do this with. Fully works, but it's full. It's completely dead right now. So I'm going to go ahead and try and just plug it in. And I'm going to do a number of tests here. I'm going to do a comparison as well. But first of all, I just want to see if it actually works um, and charges. So I plugged it in. I'm going to turn this on right here. Look at that. It's right now turned on. All of these are here. Apple logo. Woo! Boy, is that a good sign. And we're going to wait until it boots up here. And this is crazy, guys. This is honestly really crazy just um, to see this work in action. So here we go. That was very, very quick. We're at 12% 12, 12% actually. Um, so we're going to see exactly how fast it does charge. Um, we're going to leave it in here for a little bit. Battery health is 100%, so that's good. 13%, that's pretty quick. I don't know if that's faster than normal charging, but 13%. And I don't feel anything overheating yet. But this is really, really cool so far. Oh my goodness, 16%. Okay, that's literally like in a matter of like 10 seconds, so I don't know. If that's just the phone was already a little bit juiced up, but it was dead. So for some reason, it went up to 12% as soon as I started it up. 17%. That's pretty quick, guys. I got to be honest. So far, that's pretty quick. 17, 18%. So obviously, you guys could see that's moving up very, very quickly, which is really cool. Like literally before my eyes. So 18%. 18%. It was 12% at the very beginning about a minute ago so we're gonna see I'm curious if it's gonna slow down there it is 19% man guys this could be the new thing everyone should try this it obviously works out um, and I don't want to try and shock myself they are getting a little bit warm but here's a quick look at 20% as you guys can see right there i am honestly impressed guys i did not think this would really turn out but i do feel like this is a lot faster than one cable that's for sure um so there's you know there's no limiters or anything um 22 percent i mean this is going by pretty quick i don't know maybe i'm just tripping and my perception of time is different and this is normally how it charges but that's pretty fast from 12 percent to 22 percent in just like a few minutes like i'm looking at it and it just goes up 22. I might go ahead and start like a stopwatch 23% just to see how long it takes to fully charge this thing up. There you go at 23%. Got a little timer going 24. And I think I'm going to set the phone down here and just let it charge on its own here for a little bit. 25%. Let's go. 26. So from 23 to 26% in like 50 seconds. Since it's reached 40%, it's been very, very slow. Um, took forever to get a 41%, like a couple minutes, and now it's been stuck at 41%. Uh, looks like it's not going higher than that. So kind of weird. There you go, 42%. So really a massive slowdown ever since it's reached 40%. Again, we went from 40 to 46% here in like 10 minutes. Um, much longer, almost like back to the usual rate. Like this is what it charges normally. And there we go, 50% charge after about 30 minutes. And most of that was the 40 to 50%, which took about 20 minutes. But now that we're done with this, we're gonna compare both two XRs side by side, 10 cables versus one cable. So we're going to go ahead and plug this one with the 10 cables, this one with one cable. 
and just see which one charges up faster. So first of all, let's go ahead and just see which one reaches uh, the 51% first. Oh, there we go. Single cable is the winner right there. 51% so far, 50% with 10 cables, the iPhone on the right with one charger, 91%, the one with 10 chargers, 84%, down by about 7%. Um, so definitely not efficient to do something like this. I don't know why it was working at the beginning. That was very weird. Um, but there you have it, guys. So stick with one charger and you'll be good. And here's the final look at just kind of what happened inside here. All the wires uh, were kind of soldered together and with one end and it was able to charge. So that's kind of behind the scenes there. Um, but that wraps it up. Thanks for watching guys. As always, stay tuned for more videos and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace out.